So, found another one of these Linux sound boom boxes, thrifting. I had one of these a couple years ago. Um, you know, and I don't remember what the hell I did with it. <clears throat> I think I redonated it, but this is definitely not the same one. Um, so yeah, I got this. There was a tape inside, and, um, well, yeah, but this is gay anyway. Um, I haven't tried any of the functions yet, so I'm just gonna, s I know the tape player doesn't work. I hit play, and nothing spins. So, that's gotta get worked on. Uh, as for this, I don't know if it still works. Let's find out if it reads a CD. Good. Well, so far so good. Before I do that, any of that, I also got this. Let me do a little, the sharper image thing for your iPod. And I'm going through the functions and it says iPad. And then, yeah. What the hell? It was spinning in high speed in reverse. What the frick was that? It reads it, and then it just goes backwards. It's going backwards. What the hell? It's going so fast you can't even see it spinning. What if I hit play? No. Well, I want to hit play. Well, I guess I can't. See if it plays it. Okay, so it plays, but after it idles, it goes backwards at high speed. Oh, that's a has a that's friggin' trippy. It's got a mind of its own on that. So I'm looking through the settings and I see iPad. I'm like, where the hell do you hook an iPad up to? Then I see this eject button, and, whoops, whoops, it's very touchy. There, you have a spot for your iPad. I had no idea that was even, yeah. You got a USB charging in the back, an aux, and a video out, yes. But yeah, you can have an iPod and an iPad. How cool is that? And it does sound good for this little thing. Ox Radio iPod. That's a cool little device. This would be cool too if it didn't have that twerk. But anyway, uh, a little bit to work to do on that. All right, later.